All right, let's do it, guys. I'm Bushwhack18. Today we're reviewing the Sennheiser HD 6XX that you can find on drop.com, around $200. First thing you got to know, I stream live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I'll be live right after this video, so you can come on over, say hi, talk some tech nerd stuff with me, whatever. Everyone's welcome. Great little community we got going on over there. Um, when we're talking about headphones, these guys, which I really like the box. Presentation with the box is really nice. The good unboxing experience. First thing we need to discuss is essentially, you know, the build and form factor of the headphones. They're made of plastic. They're made of plastic. They squeak and they rattle a little bit. Are they unsturdy? No, I'm not worried about them breaking. But um, the advantage of the plastic is they're lightweight. So they're going to be comfortable. You must forget they're on your head sometimes. I've heard some people complain about the clamping force. But uh, I have a pretty wide head. And uh, I'm good. I find these more comfortable than just about any like dedicated gaming headphone I've worn. So generally those, because they're closed back, have that extra weight to them. Um, and they clamp harder. I just, I just find these to be more comfortable. All right. So the second thing is... Open back versus closed back. This is an open back pair of cans. If you've never tried one, you should, because it's a whole different experience. There's positives and negatives to open back versus closed back. Um, the positive is gonna be spatial awareness. So with an open back set of headphones, um, you can hear things around you better. Um, position, positional audio is better. Uh, I could describe it as, is it, like first and foremost, you have to try it. It's really hard to describe this. Um, I've been wearing these for about a year. And before then, I'd never tried an open back pair of headphones. And it's really something else. It's pretty cool. But it's like, it sounds like the audio around you is more so in the room than in your ear. And that's a good thing. The negative side of the open backs is going to be, because they're open back, there's nothing covering the driver. There's no noise isolation. So if you're in a loud environment, you can hear that loud environment. That's going to pollute your noise that you're hearing. That's going to mess with your music, mess with your game. Um, for example, sometimes if I'm playing some PUBG, someone starts up a motorcycle in real life and I freak out because I think that someone's, you know, trying to come at my house that I'm camping in, but it's a motorcycle outside and I'm crazy. It gets weird. And, um, yeah. And also people can hear what you're listening to. So if you gotta, if you're trying to listen to some music and the wife or girlfriend sleeping in bed next to you, they might be like, yo, shut that Ozzy Osbourne down. I'm trying to sleep. You jerk. So, in that situation, closed back's better. You know what I mean? So, a couple things to know about these in particular. Or most headphones that are on this level, audiophile-wise, the open back kind of stuff, you're going to probably need an amp. These things have a 300 ohm impedance, which means if you just plug them into your computer, they're probably not going to get loud enough. Um, like, you'll be able to hear audio, but it won't be... Like the loudest setting probably won't be loud enough to satisfy the audio that you need. So you're gonna want some kind of amp. Um, I use the Sound Blaster G6. I also did a review on that. It's down there on my channel. You can check that out. It's great for powering headphones like this if you're gonna cross the interests of gaming and music. So more on that in that video. Um, the cost, $200. Um, if you're in that $200 wired gaming headset range, this is something to consider. Um, but really keep in mind, you're going to need to invest in an amp and then maybe some other things, which we'll get into later. So the biggest question is going to be that anyone's going to have about any pair of headphones. How do they sound? Miraculous, amazing, delightful, substantially worth it to me. As long as you're not in a situation where using these is less than ideal. You need a quiet environment. If you're in a quiet environment, these things sound ridiculously good for music um there's there's kind of an adjustment phase that i went through because every pair of headphones that i had really used up until these were really closed back bass heavy commercially available in your local best buy kind of headphones and they have that that typical sound that you expect you know a lot of bass really fun really lively sounding i always thought that was good audio when you first put these on and listen to some music or play a game it's, it's kind of shocking because it's different and what i mean by that is um at first it almost sounds 
really conservative with the noise. It sounds very flat. Um, that crazy ear busting bass isn't there. It doesn't jump out at you. But as you relax and get into these and really listen for a little while, you start to notice, and this is like a audiophile thing. You'll hear this. You'll hear people. You'll, you'll, nah, nah, nah. Excuse me. You'll hear people say this all the time, but literally, I think it's true. I would be listening to songs that I'd heard a hundred times before, and when you're just sitting back listening, you hear things in the song that you haven't heard before. And maybe you've heard them before, but what these do is they bring that detail to the front. And it's it's so effortless to just hear those things. And it almost slows the music down in a way that it's it's easier to pick different instruments out and things like that. And that's really cool to me. It's a whole different take on music. And it's like, once you, you know, listen to these for a while and go back to those, you know, Beats by Dre, you know, Turtle Beach gaming headphones, Skull Candy, whatever, um, they sound like they're really missing something. Really missing something. And, uh, yeah, but you go through that first phase of it's shocking. It almost sounds bad at first. You're like, wait a minute. But if you give them a chance, it's going to be, most people will find that they like these a lot more than those style of headphones. Definitely. So for music, these things are nuts. Awesome. These are my favorite cans to listen to music with, hands down. And I've, I've actually found myself just listening to music for, you know, just an hour out of nowhere. I would never just sit in this chair here and listen to music, but I've done that with these things because that's how good they are. Uh, one thing to note is, like I said, you're going to want an amp and you're also going to want a um, hi-fi streaming service like Tidal. They stream... Uh, basically HD audio files that are just bigger files that have um, more detailed music in them. Um, with a set of headphones like this, you'll notice a difference. I do. I definitely do. Um, so those two things. And these are awesome for music. The next question is going to be gaming. Are they good for gaming? Yes, they're very good for gaming. There's one thing that separates these from gaming headphones. Actually, two things. A, gaming headphones are closed back, so the noise isolation is big so um like i said there are times where my ambient noises i confuse with the game audio just because these are open back and i can hear everything that does happen that's real sometimes my cat's like jumping off the cat tower in the back and i think there's an enemy behind me and i snap behind me and there's nothing there and i look back in real life and i'm like I'm like oh that's what happened that's a real thing the other thing is there's no mic no microphone but there is something out there called a mod mic you can get you can just Got a little thing you can hook it on to any set of headphones, plug it into any headphone input that you have, and boom, gaming headset mic. But that does take a little bit of DIY, a little bit, and it's an extra cost. So if you're big on multiplayer games, this isn't the most simple, easy route to go, but the audio, the audio in these sounds better than any gaming headset that I've heard. Straight up. So also so if you're in that in that range of people that wants Gaming and music and movies all with the same headphones. You know, you put equal equal um, priority on all three of those things. These are great. These are definitely great. But just keep in mind that microphone issue. It's solvable, but it's just not out of the box going to work for gaming with your friends as ideally as you'd want it to. Okay, the last thing we're going to talk about. Are they worth it? Who Who knows what's worth anything to anyone? That's such a philosophical, open-ended question. For me, they're worth it because, you know, I tried something new and I'm glad I did. It's really awesome. The open back uh, headphone thing is really cool. Everyone should at least try it. They're 200 bucks. Um, you're probably looking at, if you want to get one of these in a Sound Blaster G6, that's 350 That's about on pace with some of the, that might be a little more expensive than some of the really high-end gaming headsets. And plus, you add a mod mic in there, maybe getting around 400 who knows? That's a lot of money for any audio, but if you're really serious about your audio, I'd say, why not? I'd say, why not? Go for it. I mean, I'm into it. I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to judge anyone for spending money on something that they feel is valuable to them. You know, to some people, $200 on a pair of headphones is psychotic. They're like, I would never spend $200 on headphones. That's fine. I would never spend $200 on that pair of pants. I wouldn't do that. I mean, you know, so everyone's got their own values Their own values uh their own interests all that so if you're really into that audio game i'd definitely give these a shot um just to note these are actually the basically the same thing as the hd 650s from sennheiser 
that are retail for four hundred dollars. So you're basically getting a four hundred dollar headphone for two hundred dollars. So in terms of performance to cost ratio, comparing it to the market, it's actually really freaking good. Really. Fr so objectively, we can say that these things have a ton of value to them. Objectively. Now, whether or not that's still going to be enough for you know people to spend two hundred dollars on headphones, who knows? But anyway, guys, I'm Bushwhack eighteen. Uh, check me out on Twitch. I'm live today right after this video. Live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And uh, also my Discord link is going to be in the description. So feel free to join up with the community. We've got a bunch of great people. Uh, it's been fun. And keep in mind, these, this is not the best gaming headset I own. I have one better. And that review is coming. So everyone, have a great freaking Friday. I'll see you around. Peace out.